Alrighty, folks, this is Justro at Metcalf Mills. The video today is going to be about going to uh, move out and load up an old grain mill, an old corn mill way up in the holler over here in another county from where I live. And uh, this fella contacted me a month or so back and he uh, wanted to buy this mill, but he didn't know what kind of condition it was in or anything. So he asked me, would I kind of give him an evaluation on it? Told him, yes, I would. And also he wanted me to help him move it out and load it up. You kind of have to know what you're doing so you don't damage things like this. So I took a little time out of my day today to help him do that. And it's for a, it is, he's gonna use this mill in his community to grind for his neighbors as well as maybe offer some product for sale for people that don't have a mill or don't have grain or whatever. So it's going to a good cause. It's not a new grain mill. It'll be a new grain mill for the community, but it's not gonna be a brand new mill. It's gonna be uh, repurposing an old mill to make it work for the community. So I was glad to take a little bit of time today to run over here and help him load it up. I wanted to bring y'all along for the trip. Hope you enjoy it. We're in some beautiful country back up in here. I hope y'all enjoy it. So here's the mill, and this thing was built by Straub, the Straub Company in Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, it's an old mill, it's 1800s, I'm pretty sure. They had a little Wisconsin engine sitting back here that run it. But what we're gonna do, take all this metal off cut it loose everything and separate the mill from this because the way he's going to run it he's just going to go to that belt pulley under there with another power source so that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna do it get it all cut loose first of all take this mill, mill box loose with these two bolts right here holding it together Your great granddad, right? Mm -hmm, it is. Right, and would you write his name down? You down anything in your name? So when I refill it, I like to be able to put all that on there. Yeah. Here's some now. You can know a history of it. That'd be awesome. So. I appreciate that. For sure, I'll definitely. If you don't mind. I sure will. You know, I think that my chiller kind of know where it comes from and everything else. And don't ever lose my mind up with it and get the air from that. That is true. <laughs> you never do. Yeah. The inside right here. 
Well, it's nuts in there. Yep, there's nuts in there. Coming in from the bottom, but they covered it up with that piece on the bottom there. So, we can get it off, but we just have to fish with that bolt a minute to get it lined back up. Yep. Them bolts have got a sharp point on them. I see that. They line up. I, ain't got a, I even started to throw a little pair of these little pliers in yeah. there. You got a pair? Uh, no, I don't think I do. You can use a screwdriver or a little hook or something else to pick that nut up. I've got a piece of wire. Yeah. Do you want to try that then? It's up to you. Well, let's you? try that then. You want it back kind of original, don't you? And you ain't going to have any, are you going to have a use for all? No, no, because you're going to get all that off. No, I mean, I just, if you need it, we'll cut it off no. there. But if you want it to go for the mill to go more original, I don't need it. I don't get it off of there. Because we're going to run by Because it'll look bad if you don't. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to run by electricity well, anyway. Let's see. Well, I'm sorry. I still got to cut one though. Well, if you're going to run it by electricity, how are you going to mount your motor? Do you need that to mount your motor on? Put a plate on this? Weld it to it? I can. Or do I got plenty of other stuff at the farm I can mount it to? Well, it's up to you. It would be a dandy place to mount your motor on. Yep. already attached nice and tight. Yeah, that's true. That's up to you, bro. Yep, I'm going to take it off and do some welding on it anyway. So. Oh, okay. You know, to put a bracket and uh -huh. I know you got to put a hinge on it so you can tighten that motor yeah, and all that. Right, right. So if that and if that's the case, you'd probably want to cut it what right, right, right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right there. Right there is what I was gonna do. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. One little brace over there. Yep. You know you got to yeah. All right. I'm sure they're probably right. If you ain't got rid of it. If you can get your hands on it, I'll. You ain't made it on the fire yet, is it? No, I don't think so. Oh, Marty, how'd that happen? Found a socket that fits that. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lag bolt. I you like that. Lucky, didn't I? Hey, if I take these bolts out of there, they're going to slide across the floor while you're over there working, right? I hope not. It's been cut loose now, so it's. It's all over all over the crime. <laughs> I just want to make sure it wasn't gonna slide and bend you in the corner.
All right, folks, we got this mill out. This is an old straw mill, as I said, built sometime in the 1800s. No way to really date it. We got Irvin here and down here Stomp. And we've had a good day doing this today, but Irvin, what's your plans for this mill? Here? Well, I'm wanting you to help me get this thing back restored so we can grind some corn and, and um, make some grits for all our neighbors and friends back home. I hear you. I hear you, buddy. We'll do our best. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a challenge and a, be a lot of fun. Yeah, it will be. And you just holler anything I can help you with, I'll I'll do my best. It's a little tricky to do some of that work on these things, but well, I think I got the once, ex, I think I got the expert. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sure do my best to guide you and help you the best way I can. But it's been a good day. We've had yes, fun sir. doing this. Had a real and good time. Eat good too. That's right. We eat good. <laughs> Saved another meal from going to who knows where, the scrapyard or the wood pile or somewhere. We saved another meal, so we done good. Another meal for the community. That's what it's going to be for. This is Justro, Irvin, and Stomp here at Metcalf Mills. Look forward to seeing y'all next time.